Now a massive search continues for two missing teens who were swept away by a raging river in Oconee County. Good evening, I'm Tom Haynes. And I'm Sine Simpson. Law enforcement officers doing everything they can to find the missing teens. Divers are in the water. Helicopters and drones are searching from above. Volunteers walking the banks and searchers are out in kayaks. But so far, there's been no sign of Bryant Wade or Cameron Smith. The 18-year-olds were last seen Friday at the Falls of Oconee. That's on Barber Creek. And that is where we find Fox 5's Kevin Stewart. Kevin, you spoke to the sheriff about this massive search. Yeah. yeah, several things really stood out in that news conference this afternoon. One, the sheriff does believe uh, the boys' bodies will be recovered in the Oconee River, and they've really stepped up efforts today in that effort. The other concern he raised was about uh, something he saw in the community, and he posted about it on Facebook. Sky Fox 5, high above the Oconee River area, the new focal point in the search for Cameron Smith and Bryant Wade. Nearly 200 people strong. The lookout now including family members of the teens. They requested it of us, and we accommodated that request. This is personal with the family. I think they want to be close. I think they want to feel like they're doing something other than sitting and waiting. This is day four in the search for the teens. 18-year-old Cameron Smith jumped into the swollen Barlow Creek in an attempt to save 18-year-old Bryant Wade. Neither has been seen since Friday. Crews have cleared debris from the creek, labored through murky water. Crews believe they now may be in the Oconee. The logs have fallen down. There are two dams across the river. The search isn't the only challenge. This is a post from the Oconee County Sheriff's Department's Facebook page. Quote, this morning's update will start with a message to a specific type of person. The rumor mongering, vile, pot stirs. You know who you are. Stop it. We've had people start rumors that people are, people have been found, that they've been seen somewhere, um, that they, that we found them and we were not telling the family. Those things simply aren't true. That said, there has been a remarkable response to support the family and the first responders in the community. I'll have that part of the story coming up on Fox 5 News at 6. But for now, we're live in Watkinsville. Kevin Stewart, Fox 5 News. Kevin, thanks. A 